Hello everyone. Uh, today I would like to discuss about Microsoft Azure Resource Administration using PowerShell. So, what is the benefit of PowerShell? So, PowerShell is a powerful scripting language designed by Microsoft specifically for uh, infra infra team like sysadmin, network admin, desktop admin. They want to do day-to-day -day tasks uh, using PowerShell. PowerShell also can be used in larger scripts that perform like automated tasks as well as management of your infra. So we'll see how it's useful in Microsoft Azure. So if you can able to access uh, PowerShell using a Microsoft Azure portal by clicking your uh, shell script and then you have to mount your file share. So using a uh, file share, you can able to access C layer PowerShell. You can automate a task or you can uh, manage your uh, resources on portal itself. Or you can install uh, PowerShell on your local machine and you have to install uh, Microsoft uh, Azure uh, in module. So you can able to access and manage and automate using PowerShell scripts. So the commands like commands here mentioned is so way to set your execution policy, then install Azure model. That's it. So let's have a quick demo how to access first using my browser. So I am on my Microsoft Azure browser. So let me select the icon here. You can see shell script. So I have already uh, mounted my uh, file share. If you're doing first time in, it will just ask select your subscription, select your storage account, and select the resource group, and so on. Just you can able to see and do it. That is not a big deal. So you can able able, able to understand how. It's, so just you have to select everything and select a file share lost. Then you can able to access PowerShell on a browser itself. So here I can see. Let me select it. Uh, is it storage account? I can able to view my uh, list of storage accounts. So, so I have a uh, what are the storage accounts listed here. So I can able to manage here also. So let me see how to access power using my local machine. So I already uh, installed a uh, um, Microsoft Azure module here, Azure model here on PowerShell. So let me connect my Azure account. Connect AZ account. So to log in and provide username and password. Microsoft Azure portal credentials. So I have multiple uh, subscription tenants. So that is why uh, it's showing uh, to select subscription or a set context. I am the owner of uh, this tenant. Also, I have uh, other tenants. I am a guest of uh, some other tenants as well. So that is why it says to select your uh, uh, tenant. Let me clear and get AZ subscription. I have connected so I can able to access my uh, portal. I can able to access my resources. So the first command is AZ subscription. So let me check how many uh, subscription I have. So I have a, a four subscription. So you can see I have a same tenant. So this is the same tenant. The same tenant I have a two subscriptions, and I have another tenant as well. Okay, let me select one of my tenant and access the particular so Azure resources. Okay, so let me first select. So select uh, A Z subscription let me provide tenant id let me select this tenant so i can able to access only this particular tenant resources okay now i connected let me select let me select some resources get az vm We can see uh, these many VMs available in the subscription.
let me select get EAZ subscription sorry get EAZ storage accounts so I have this many uh, storage accounts let me go and access this on browser what is the tenant ID uh, so which tenant I am using here uh, this is the tenant ID right 33 okay start with 33 okay so this is the tenant so let me switch to the tenant so here you can see uh, I can able to access this tenant uh, resources okay, I have these my resources what I'll do so you can see all of the machines are in stopped state the state is stopped so let me power on from uh, here so the command is dot az vm and the resource group so let me on this resource. so you can see here resource name and the server name okay let me provide server resource group first then uh, to provide the name server name server name is let me put this this one so it is getting starting my server let me go and check the server name is vm01 right let me go and select my vm01 here see my server is running now it started okay so it was previously it was a stop reset it now started it's, you can see it's starting okay let me refresh okay, it's running okay so i can able to access and manage my servers my uh, resource everything over my local machine itself okay so if you're uh, new to the powershell script so what you can do just to go to the browser and select uh, the vm here so you can see the commands you can see the claps powershell then uh, so if you're familiar if you want to access over the CLA, you can choose cli if you if you want to access powershell you mean to select powershell so here they uh, they mention like like some uh, basic commands so how to start so this is start as at vm then how to have to select to provide the uh, properties partial properties so select a name and uh, what are things you want to see there they mentioned uh, like a like sample uh, command so start as at vm you have to provide the resource group name and uh, then you have to provide the computer name server name okay so same for stop same thing to follow so they provide they provided some examples start uh, stop restart and extension get is at all vms so they have provided the uh, how to document how to uh, comment also here okay so it succeeded so if you want to stop the same command you have to just go and stop yes So now the server is in the start stop uh, stop it right? I execute the command so you can see it will deal like getting it's deal like getting okay so easily you can manage over your commands itself browser local machine itself you don't want to come to a browser and you have to do follow everything so just you can keep your commands here itself also you can uh, save your commands to your local machine or you can have a git github or uh, azure repository you can uh, uh, sync with your local repository local machine 
you can use the command so here i put some uh, scripts over here like uh, i wanted to create storage uh, virtual machine or store create storage accounts so we'll see how to act this so let me open this storage account creation i have some um, i already uh, having a command just to so whenever i want just to go and change the uh, account name i can uh, create it okay by using creating uh, by uh, changing the storage account name or location you can just go and create using this command script so let me go and create this access the script so let me go to cd and storage cd c scripts then storage yes here storage so i have this command let me create a storage creation okay let me execute this storage It's having some gap. What I'll do? Change it. I'll get it. Storage creation. Let me go to uh, storage account here. So I mentioned the uh, South India, I believe. Let me go to open South India's location here. Uh, South India. Okay, let me choose the South India. Apply. So it's not yet created. Yes. Okay. You can see. This is I created is just now you can see creation time today okay let me refresh you can see here okay so my account has been created so if you wanted to remove so you can just you have a command already just you can go and replace like removal so i just providing some basic commands here okay this is my account name and which look which uh, resource group it is trainer okay just change it to trainer and let me execute the removal command storage Uh, cannot be found storage account name cannot be found okay the name should be trainer right okay there is a group name it's executing so i came to uh, remove using powershell itself so I don't want to come uh, come again to a browser. Okay, sometimes it may be now I'll be in catch. 
okay let me select south india now see that is gone you can see it's deleted okay so you can see you can have so many uh, things in for example let me select get is it vm and like select object if if you press simply get as a team so you'll get this stuff uh, these things so you don't want all the things you want just some uh, specific uh, properties like select select the yeah, select object it means uh, let me put like um, the resource group resource group name then location then uh, name server name so I, I this did is enough for me okay so I get only this information I wanted to get the uh, export res uh, result let me get export export as a csv and path we put to the same location scripts is script um, vm dot csv let me go to access my storage where i put that uh, script is script right the path is script so this is the report it's created now we select okay so i can able to get uh, results so you can uh, have whatever so if you are in familiar with this powershell so you can just go go and automate yourself using powershell script i believe uh, this video is helpful so going forward uh, i can put some more videos about this thank you for watching thank you